G'day everyone, uh, my name is Nick Bowditch. I am my most recent book is Reboot Your Thinking, 28 Days to Think Different and Be Better. Today's post is about that book and about how to grow an audience for a book or a product if you're a small business or startup person, this applies equally. How to grow a product and sell a product like a book or whatever to an audience that you've built and targeted and built with the right people, even if you start from scratch, even if you start from having no database at all. And the way that I want to talk about uh, doing that is by using custom audiences on Facebook. Now, I've talked about custom audiences a lot to, to a lot of different people over the years. Um, what it started as was you would be able to put your uh, own database of emails and or phone numbers into Facebook. Facebook says, okay, I know so many of these email addresses or phone numbers that you've given me. We mesh them together. Facebook gives that back to you as a custom audience which you can then advertise against. The value of that is that when is that brand recognition, people who are your customers already, who've bought your stuff, who've downloaded your ebook, who've been into your store, who've signed up to your website, whatever it might be, um, are on your database. And when they're flicking through their news feed, they see your content and that brand recognition is instantly there because they already know you and they trust you and they love you. So that, and then, the, and then sort of from there, custom audiences uh, grew where you could name a lookalike audience. So you could say, okay, Facebook gives you a custom audience of a thousand people. You can say to Facebook, okay, show me a hundred thousand people who are just like those people. And so based on their demographics, who they are, what they like, where they live, who they are, pretty much, um, Facebook will say, okay, here's another group of people who are just like them. And that's really, really valuable for you as an advertiser or marketer to be able to push your stuff out to a bigger audience, but still have it very targeted to the type of people that you want to reach. So today I want to talk about six ways to effectively grow and cheaply grow a big database, a big targeted audience of people on Facebook, even if you have zero people in your database right now, or you're starting from a very low base, or in the case of a book, if you've perhaps not sold as many as you wanted to, but you really want to get your book out to more people, um, you want your message to re reach more of the right people and not just try to scatter gun, machine gun, um, approach it. Okay, so number one way I'm going to talk about, and this is a bit controversial because it's about page likes. Now, I, I don't think page likes really matter very much at all, and I've said this for a lot of years now. I think it's a bit of a vanity metric. I think it's something that, you know, the CMO of an organization wants their minions to go and grab as many people as they can for likes, or likes on their page because it looks good or whatever, but really it doesn't really functionally help you very much except in the area of building an audience, um, a custom audience, and having people, you know, you want to target people who like your page. So there is still a, a valuable sense of being able to grow those page likes and have those page likes the right people. So I'm not talking about going to pay someone on Fiverr five bucks to give you, you know, a thousand fake fans. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about people who are really legitimately interested in your stuff. Right? and how you're going to grow your page with those people so you can then market to those people and people who look like them when you create lookalike audiences of them as well. So now by using custom audiences, custom audiences has grown and developed and, and there's lots of different ways to use it on Facebook now. And this, this, so this first way to increase your page likes of people who actually are interested in your stuff is you can create ads that t and you target people and retarget people who have been to your page, who have visited your page in the last whatever time you say, so 30 days or 365 days if you want, or whatever, so they've come to your page, but then you exclude people who have liked your page. So these ads or this content is basically just being pushed out to people who have come to your page, so they've been interested in you or your product or your message or whatever at some stage, but they didn't click on like, they didn't follow your page. So this is a great way to be able to say, and in the ad content, in the content that you're pushing these people, I say, you know, thanks for dropping by my page in the last week, last 30 days, whatever, last year, whatever you want to say. Um, but you didn't click on like, and I want you to stay connected. If you're interested in my stuff, click like now. And I think, as always, you know, make the ad content specific to those people and use the current um, Facebook filters that you can use, the general filters of age, demographic, location, likes, interests, and all that on top of those people as well. So you're creating an audience of people who have visited your page but not clicked like, but then you can also say, well, show me all those ones who are women so I can create some, some uh, you know, targeted content just for them. Show me how many of those women are mums. Show me how many dads who work in 
trades or whatever, um, and target people effectively that way. The second way is then to target people who, anybody, who has saved your posts. So a little while back, Facebook introduced a feature where you could, instead of having to like click the link to open the page that you're interested in and then try and bookmark the page or print it or something, you can just click on save this, save this post and it goes into your saved items and then you can revisit it later on. So with this sort of remarketing that you can do now on Facebook with your custom audience is you can create an audience of people who have saved your posts in the last, again, 30, 60, 90, 365 days, whatever you decide. And this is a great way, if you use that audience, so you create an audience of people who've saved your page, but then you exclude people who have liked your page, right? So you exclude your fans. So these people are just semi-interested in your brand, but not interested enough to like it. And then you can actually send them with a link to your email capture, to your uh, you know, sign up to your blog, to collect their email address or their, their contact details somehow and add them in to your database that way. So they're interested enough to save your Post. So they're interested in your stuff, but you know they might not even know you have that website or that email capture or whatever. So you can send them directly to there. Okay, number three is then you can target people or create an audience of people who have sent you a message on your page. So if you have a lot of messaging contact um, with your customers, so a lot of hospitality industries have this, a lot of tech, a lot of service industries have this, where people send them messages. What time you open? How can I get this warranty? Do you have this product in at the moment? What's the price of this? Whatever. And you can target that audience of people who have sent you a message, again, over the last 30, 60, 90, 365 days, whatever you, whatever time frame you choose. And the way you target this audience then is back through Messenger. So you can either use your own Messenger bot, if, you, if you're up with that, and you can Google that to find out there's some very free, very good services that create automated messages for you, or you can just create ads that appear in Messenger for them, and they're targeted for them, the, people, the very people who sent you a message in the past. It's really, really effective advertising because it's in a completely separate um, application to Facebook, being Messenger, and people trust it, and it feels like it's uh, human to human, which it really is, and it's very, very effective. Number four is a kind of a longer term idea. So this is where you would target people or create an audience of people who have clicked on any call to action button on your page. So often people have a call now, buy now, sign up button, whatever it is. These people click on it and then Facebook creates an audience for you of those people. These people are action takers and they want to be involved with you somehow. Right, so create content that encourages them to send a message directly to your page, and then you can engage with them with ads in Messenger and or your Messenger bot, as I said, as I said before. But it's it's really handy to harness the people who are actually willing and motivated enough to click on a call to action button, put them separately into an audience, which Facebook does for you automatically, um, and then you can advertise against them. Number five is something that I do in my own businesses a lot, and that is create a solid look-alike of audience of people who are like the people who have engaged with your page in the last 12 months. So I create a custom audience of, the, of people who've engaged with my page in any way in the last year, and then I create a look-alike audience, a much bigger audience, of people who are just like those people. So this audience contains people who are just like the people who engage with your content. They're your customers, right? And they're your potential customers too because they share a lot of the same traits as people who could be bothered to buy your stuff, to read your content, to message you back, to comment on your stuff or, or whatever it is. This is a great, well to, wait, wait, great way to sell books and products and even tickets to these people. But importantly, every time one of these lookalikes engages with your page, your database grows and becomes richer and more targeted, right, with the right people. And offers work really well with this group too. So currently on my Nick Bowdy stuff, which is my author stuff, my speaking, my writing, my storytelling sort of business, um, I'm running a lookalike audience of around 5 million people worldwide who are really my solid, solid customer base. They're, they're lookalikes of the people who, um, who buy my stuff, who engage with my page, who comment, who send me comments, who like what I do. And that's a really good group of people to harness and have and hold on to and then be able to market to and build your database from. And then the final way is using Facebook lead ads. So 
Um, lead ads are basically a tool that Facebook invented to get rid of the biggest problem with trying to capture people's data or their email addresses or their contact details or whatever online. The biggest, biggest sort of hurdle to that is that it's hard to do it on the phone. You know, people don't want to go through and put their email address in, then put their gender, then put their address, then put their whatever. Like they, people just don't do that. But with Facebook lead ads, you can actually show them a form which is already auto-populated with the content or with the details that Facebook has of them. And all they have to do is one click, yep, I sign up, I agree, I buy it, I download it, or whatever. Right? So this is, and, and because it's all auto-populated, people don't have to scroll through and type and it's not a punish, like it's really easy. Um, and they can change those details if they want, but most people just click, click yes. And it's a really, really high converting way to get, grab someone's details and keep hold of them. The way that I've used this is, is that I've given away an ebook version of this book um, when everybody signs up with for these lead ads. Uh, you can build your database and you use those emails to create a custom audience and then a lookalike audience of those readers as well. Um, and in a day, I gave away, or two days, I gave away about 1,800 versions, uh, electronic versions of the book. And now I have those people in a database which I know they're interested in the book. I know they're interested in my book and my writing. And a final note, just remember to always use the existing filters that Facebook gives you to be able to demographically filter and change the audiences that they create. Just because they give you a million people in an audience or whatever, you can still say, okay, just show me the mums, just show me the men aged 18 to 32, just show me the people who live in Australia, just show me the people who are whatever. Don't forget about that filtering that comes under your audiences as well.